Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here, and today I have a really, really special video for everybody. Um, well, <laughs> I say that because this engine uh, I had since July, and I I couldn't get it back. Oh, here comes the train. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. Um... So what I meant to say is, um, like I said, this train, or engine, sorry, I've had since July, and for the past nearly, I say nearly six months, um, it would perform very badly, and it would perform, I mean, not perform, it would be in my storage drawer for a fair bit of time, and luckily, just, I think a couple hours ago, I was just able to restore it, finally. And she is coming around the bend now. And if you see my Instagram post, you will see what I mean. You should already know if you see my Instagram. And here she comes in shot. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you will see that this engine had a major, major absence. Ladies and gentlemen, the Riverossi cab forward. And yes, I do notice that the little rod thingy, majiggy, is missing, but that will easily be replaced. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh man, the work I had to do to get this engine up and running again. Whew, we. So let me tell you the story I had to do to get this engine back on its feet. So what happened was... One October evening, I think, I was running this thing, and, um, you know, it performed as usual, as any other model engine would do. All of a sudden, one of the bolts on the connecting rods just suddenly came off. Like, it legit unscrewed itself. And I thought, oh my god, this isn't good. So, I tried to fix it, and of course I couldn't. So, what I did was, I got the thing taken to the hobby shop. To get looked at and I didn't even get it back until a month later so I've been advised to use hex nut screwdrivers to try and fix the bolts or in case if I needed a need them at all and of course I bought some and when I got the engine back it performed very very terribly it performed even worse it was juddery it was the whole thing was just a big problem and I thought are you serious so I got to work on this thing and as I would try to get this thing back up and running I about gave up because this thing would, would just keep dying on me well not dying but it would just the rods will always disconnect the uh, it was just a massive nightmare and it all and it really made me want to buy another one of these and just put this one in my storage drawer. Although finally, just today, I managed to f to get the bolts working. I was like, enough is enough is enough. I really want a cab forward on my railway, and I am getting so sick and tired of not having a cab forward on my railway. So I finally got to work, and I took around three annoying hours. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say three, maybe two hours, and. Lo and behold, she is up and running. And yes, like I said, she is missing one of those rod thingamajiggies that connects to her valve gear, but hey, you know, if you can even call it valve gear, at least this thing is running. I'm very, very happy that it's performing very well. So I ran her without cars for a little while just so to make sure that the damn bolts were not um, disconnect <laughs> but um, yeah the thing is she is she is running it's, it's the only thing I can say is that she is running I'm really happy that she is okay so so 
So yeah, now I'm gonna give her a, a train to pull because this will be her first train in months, probably since she was. I don't know how you say it anymore. Might have to switch cabooses, don't I? Oh well. But yeah. And I want you guys to be there to see it. I'm gonna switch cabooses. Alrighty. Give me one second. Now the caboose I'm going to be using is a non-matching caboose. I will be using a Milwaukee Road caboose. This thing rolls really nicely. I think it's an Athern Blue Box is what a friend told me. So yeah, let me put that on the track. Like I said, I know it's not a matching caboose. I don't have a Southern Pacific caboose at the time of filming this. Alrighty. So that is her train. Now we'll just get her to back up onto it. All right, she's coming. Give her a bit of time. She's on her way. Here she is. All righty. Now let's see if she's coupled. And she is. All right. Her first train since October. All righty. Take it away. Hopefully this will work. Look at that. All right. Just leave her running around for a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see if anything happens. Here she comes around the bend. Yeah, I don't know how it happened, the unscrewing ball. I really don't know how it happened. And she's really quiet, too. Um, I know on the camera, It'll probably pick up a very harsh noise, but in the flesh, it's very, very quiet. All right. Just leave her running for a bit, and I'll update you on what it's like. Okay, so it's been running for a good 10 minutes. It slowed. I didn't have to switch the boxcars around because the red boxcar didn't like to couple up to the caboose for some reason, so I swapped the two out, but yeah. Uh, it's been running for a good 10 minutes, so far the bolts from the connecting rods haven't came off. And if they do, I will be prepared to put them back on, yeah. So, yeah. So that concludes the video of me bringing back the River Rossi Cap 4. I hope she'll be in my videos from now on, so. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care everybody.